Hey, what's up guys? Sanitary103. Thanks for watching yet another video. So today's important topic, I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to call it the social media effect with respect to health and fitness and in life in general. And I want to talk about how this social media effect can actually make some people feel worse about themselves. But I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't feel that way. And what exactly do I mean by this? Well, there's so much social media out there. I mean, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram. There's ones I haven't even used and I've heard of. Uh, Pinterest, Foursquare. There's a plethora of uh, social media. And social media is great in terms of being able to connect with people through Facebook. Um, you're sending information just so, so rapidly, right? It's not like it was in the past. And that's a great advantage, but one potential problem and unforeseen circumstance that may uh, happen to somebody is that some people might start feeling down on themselves. I mean, even with the media on TV, I mean, there's just magazines of women looking, you know, perfect, men's health magazines, these guys are all chiseled. And then you got people just everyday life, you know, taking selfies, you know, a lot of the women are using their sex to, uh, get followers and they're getting all these followers and all these comments like I look good this and that and just with all the social media people are just constantly bombarding you with with the message of look at me I look good I have this I have the car I have this I have that and there's nothing wrong with being a proud of what you have but there's a fine line between being proud and being humble or just being straight douchebag and being cocky, okay? And I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a lot of things, but one thing I pride myself on is that I consider myself a pretty humble person. I try to be humble. Now, I've posted, now I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm sure you guys know that. Um, I've posted some pictures of myself and stuff, but for me, it's more about trying to inspire you guys. I'm not just taking a picture at, oh, look at me, blah, blah, blah. You know, you may think otherwise, I, I don't really care if you do, but um, for people that, that have been following me for quite some time, you guys know that I, I try to always remain humble. I try to respond to people's comments. But anyways, this uh, video is not about me, but I'm also doing this video to reiterate and speak to you, that person who, you know, constantly sees someone else and be like, oh, you know, this person has a perfect life. They have this perfect body. They have a perfect boyfriend or a girlfriend. Oh, they're taking an Instagram photo of their uh, of how they look in the mirror. Oh, I wish I had that. They have a new car, this and that. Well, I'm here to tell you guys, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm trying to be just straight up realistic with you guys. When people post stuff on Facebook, whatever, social media platform, Instagram, all that stuff, for the most part, it's gonna be positive things. They're gonna be posting uh, you know, their celebrations, how they look. They're gonna be posting all their positive things in life, right? They're not gonna, you only see a, a snapshot of just the really good things. Some people do post some depressing things, but for the most part, people don't wanna see that. So what you're seeing is just one angle. You're just seeing that one little snapshot, that one aspect of their life. So don't assume that their life is 100% perfect. Now, like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a hater, okay? Some people are, are extremely happy. They wanna post something that's good. But do note that if your life is kinda of lacking and you're seeing all this social media and it's making you feel worse and you're saying, oh my gosh, am I the only one that is not feeling good about myself? Why, you know, everyone else is happy, what about me? Well, like I said, that's just a snapshot of their picture and everyone has good and bad days. Also to quickly backtrack a little bit about people taking a lot of Instagram photos and stuff like that. Um, also, a lot of these people, they're not, they're taking pictures at their best state, okay? They're, they're basically in contest prep or something. They're flexing really hard. They're at a certain angle. It's all about lighting. I mean, I had a professional photographer take photos of me uh, for my transformation series. And I'm not photo shoot ready 365 days a year, seven days a week. Absolutely not, okay? Um, that's just not realistic. But some people you know, that are, that don't know and they're, I would say ignorant. They just don't know all the ins and outs of the health and fitness industry. They just assume like, oh my God, this, you know, this guy looks really shredded. I want to get like that. I, I feel it's making me feel worse. Like what exactly am I doing? Or if you're a female and you, you see a girl, you see Kim Kardashian on, on a cover and you clearly tell us some of that stuff is 
you know, Photoshop, the Photoshop effect. So that's about it for this video. And if you're watching this video and you feel like discouraged or something, I'm just here to try to reiterate and tell you guys that it's okay, not everyone's life is gonna be uh, perfect, okay? It's gonna have your ups and downs. So if you're having one of those bad days and you see a post and all your feed is like, oh, look at me, I look good, this and that, maybe if the person doesn't have good intentions, maybe you shouldn't follow that person. Thanks once again for watching and don't get too caught up in other people's social media lives. Uh, focus on yourself, take those baby steps to get to where you want and don't worry too much about other people. If you're truly happy for that person and they seem like a genuine person and they want to post some stuff on Instagram, their progress pics, their, you know, attempting a PR and breaking it, congratulate them. That's great. I don't want you guys hating on them, but at the same time, don't get too wrapped up in that and don't let that make you feel worse about yourself, okay? Thanks once again for watching this video. Comments and questions are always welcome. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's going to help keep you satiated without all the extra calories, yet you're going to get a lot of good protein. And because protein takes longer for your body to process,